Jesus Heals a Paralytic In the story today, we hear again of two stark opposites. Those who believed very much in the Lord Jesus and those who stubbornly refused to put their faith in him. We find Jesus in a house preaching and teaching crowds of people. In fact, there are so many people there that they all can't fit into the house. Lots have to crowd around outside the windows and doorways to listen to him. It so happens that some friends get to hear that Jesus is close by. One of the friends is paralysed. The rest of them are sure that if they can get their friend to Jesus, then he'll be cured, able to walk once more. You can imagine their dismay when they arrive to find that there's no way past the crowds into the house. After all, they were having to carry their friend on a stretcher bed. But we know that so often, when people are determined, they find a way to get what they need. And this is the case here. They make their way up the outside stairs to the roof of the house. When the voice of Jesus becomes louder, they begin to dig a hole through the roof, just there. Meantime, the Lord is standing directly below them. He must notice the noise, and he can't miss the bits of roof that must be falling around him. You may think that he'd be slightly annoyed. They are making a mess. They're interrupting his preaching and teaching. And what's more, they're breaking the roof of the people who own the house. To people's amazement, he welcomes the paralysed man as he is lowered through the roof to the feet of Jesus. He's pleased. He knows he and his friends have put their faith in him. Even more surprising, the Lord doesn't at first heal him of the paralysis. Jesus knows there are far more important things than our health. He cares about our souls. And so he tells the man his sins are forgiven. This makes his enemies who are amongst the crowd in the room very angry. Without saying anything, they're thinking such things as who does Jesus think he is? Only God can forgive sins. Now the Lord Jesus knows exactly what they're thinking. He can see right into their thoughts and into their hearts. But he wants to help them to have faith too. So he asks them, which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven or Get up, take your mat and walk. Of course, everyone thinks it's easier to tell a man he's forgiven. You could easily be lying. No one can actually see a man's soul being made clean by forgiveness. But everyone can see a man able to get up and walk when he's paralysed. So here's the test. <laughs> and Jesus passes the test. He goes on to heal the man's body and enable him to actually get up and walk. Wonderfully, the man is healed both inside and out. Jesus has become his saviour. The crowds are delighted, except his enemies, of course. And Jesus wants to become your saviour too. But here's the vital question. Will you believe in him? like the group of faithful friends? Or will you reject him like his enemies did time and time again? Where you spend your eternity depends on your answer. Don't waste this opportunity. Trust him now. I am the good shepherd the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 
John chapter 10 verse 11. Because he loves us, he does it because he loves us.